Welcome to Wildlife Theory Lesson Number 24. And to start off, we're going to be comparing using less than, greater than, or equal to for each blank. So looking at number one, we have 9 times 6, blank 5 times 10. And we're, since we're comparing each side, we've got to find out how much is on each side anyway. So we have 9 times 6 on this first side. If you know your times tables, you can do it really easily. But if you don't, we'll have to do it the slower way. So let's imagine that you don't. So let's do 9 6 times. So we have 9, 18, um, 27, 36, 45, and 54. So we have 54 on this left side, and on this right side, 5 times 10. We know that 5 times 10 will always just get us 50. So then 50 and 54. We know that 54 is greater than 50, so for number 1, our answer is greater than. For number 2, we're doing the same thing. We have set, here we have 7 times 4 times 2 times 12. and But if you already know your times tables, we can do 7 times 4 immediately. But we actually know you don't. We will do have to add. So we have 7 plus 7 is 14. And then 14 plus 7 is 21. And plus 7 one more time is 28. So we have 28 on this left side. And to get this side, 2 times 12 is the same thing as 12 plus 12. And 12 plus 12 gets us 24. And so, just like number 1, we know that 28 is greater than 24, so our answer is greater than. Moving over to this, left, this right side, number 6, we have 4 times 9 and 8 times 5. And if you don't know how to do times tables, we'll have to add. So, for this last side, we have 9, 18, 27, and 36. So then we have 36 for this left side. And on the right side, we have... 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. And so we know that 36 is less than 40, so we already know our answer for number 6 is going to be less than. Number 7, lastly, we have 7 times 7 and 21 plus 26. 7 times 7 is going to, we're going to add it up just in case you don't know your times table. So we have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and 49. Oh, let me write that a little better. 49. And on this right side, 21 over 26. We add those up and we get 47. And so we have 49 on this side and 47 on this side. And we know that 49 is greater than the 47, so our answer for number 7 is greater than. For this next page, we'll be writing a rule for each table, and then we're going to be completing it. So, looking at number one, we have spiders and their legs, and we know that a spider has eight legs. So each time, we see that it's going to increase by eight. For, for every new spider, you're increasing by eight. So our rule for this one is going to be plus eight. And so, to complete the table, 24 plus eight, 32. 32 plus eight, 40. And 40 plus eight. 48. Do the same thing for number 2, this time we have tables. So here we're already starting at 3, and there are 12 legs, so we can see that, and we know that each table is always going to have 4 legs, as from those to 4, we have 16, 5, 20, so our rule for this one's going to be plus 4, and let's finish the table. So here we have 7 this time, so we know we have to add um, 4 twice. So 20 plus 4 is 24, 24 plus 4 is 28. And then we have 8, which is 32, and 9, which is 36. And let's just skip around. Let's go to guitars and loaves of bread. So for number of guitars, here we see we have 2 and 12. But for some reason, I don't really know what legs are, but I'm going to assume that they're strings. And I'm going to assume that there are 6 strings in each guitar, assuming that from 2 to 3, we have 12 to 18. So our rule for this one's going to be plus 6. And so here we see we have 5 to 6, which is 36. And then 7 to, excuse me, 7 to plus 6, or 6 plus uh, 36 is 42. And 42 plus 6 is 48. And lastly, 
for number six, we have loaves of bread. And we can see that each loaf of bread is $3, as we go from three to six, from one to two. So our rule for this one is going to be plus three. And so from four to five, that's going to be 15. Five to seven, we don't have to do it twice, so 15, 18, 21. And same thing for this one, 21, 24, 27. Lastly, for our word problems, number one, Julia had three sheets of animal stickers on each. After she gave some stickers away, she had 14, or she had 14 left. How many stickers did she give away? So let's find out how many she had in total first. We have 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 8 plus 8 plus 8, which gets us 24. Now we, we and then since we're trying to find how many she gave away, we're going to do 24 minus 14, because that's how many she had left. So 24 minus 18, 14 is 10. So we know she had 10 stickers that she gave away. And lastly, number two, Jack made two cakes for each of his friend, three friends, and each cake he used three apples. How many apples does he use? So, first we know that he used two cakes for each of his three friends, so we have three times two, which gets us six. And he used three apples for each one, so now we have to do six times three. And then, in case you don't know how many times tables, we'll add them up. So, six plus six plus six equals 18, and we know that he used 18 apples in total.